Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Drool. Imagine this, a recruiter opens your profile and instantly thinks, we need this person on our team. That's the power of a well-optimized LinkedIn profile. It's not just about looking good online. It's about unlocking real opportunities, interviews, and maybe even that dream job you've been chasing. If you're someone who's trying to break into data analytics or grow faster in this field, your LinkedIn profile can either open doors for you or quietly kill your chances without you even realizing it. Because here's the harsh truth. A weak LinkedIn profile doesn't just get ignored. It makes you invisible to recruiters. No matter how skilled you are. And let's be honest, most data analysts either ignore LinkedIn or treat it like an online resume. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that by optimizing every section of your LinkedIn profile so it actually gets noticed by recruiters, hiring managers and people who matter in the data world. So don't just watch this video. Go ahead and use this video as your checklist. Start implementing and watch your LinkedIn work for you. Because if you don't market your skills, someone else with half your talent will and they'll get ahead of you. So let's dive in. First up, let's talk about your profile picture. Your profile picture is the first thing recruiters see. If it's blurry, unprofessional or outdated, they'll judge you instantly. And that's before they even read your skills or experience. Here's what you need to do. Choose a clear headshot where your face should take up about 60% of the frame. Avoid using selfies or cropped group photos and make sure the background isn't distracting. A well-lit head and shoulders shot with a neutral background works best. Dress appropriately for the picture. Wear something that reflects the professional environment you're aiming for. For example, a business casual or professional attire like a button-up shirt or a nice blazer. Make sure you smile and look friendly in the profile picture. Your expression should convey both warmth and professionalism because you want recruiters to see that you're approachable. Next, let's focus on your headline. This is the text right below your name and it's one of the most visible parts of your profile. You should incorporate important keywords here. Think about the terms recruiters might search you for. Instead of just listing your job title, use this space to highlight your skills, expertise and what you have to offer. For example, Data Analyst, Python, SQL, Tableau, turning complex data into business insights. This shows recruiters exactly what you do and what you're great at. Make sure your headline reflects your most marketable skills and aspirations. If you're looking for a job, you could add something like open to opportunities in data science and analytics. So it's clear that you're actively looking for jobs. Now let's talk about your summary. This is your elevator pitch where you tell your professional story. This is where you can really show what sets you apart. If you just list your job history or skills, you're missing a major opportunity to connect with the recruiters and hiring managers on a personal level. Start with a strong sentence about who you are and what excites you in data analytics. Talk about your passions. Maybe it's solving problems through data. Maybe it's creating visualizations or maybe it's using machine learning to drive insights. And finally, don't forget to mention your goals. What kind of roles you're looking for next and how you can contribute to the company's success. For example, my summary emphasizes my experience in data science, my academic pursuits and my passion for leveraging analytics to drive business insights. You want to be clear about what you do, what you're passionate about and what you're looking for. This will send a strong signal to potential employers that you're someone who knows what value they can bring to the team. Next up is the experience section. This section is where you really prove your worth and a list of job titles won't cut it. Employers want to see what you've accomplished. Focus on quantifiable achievements. If you're just saying you analyze data or build dashboards, this won't uh, do the job. Be specific about how and why. Use numbers because they build instant credibility. Be sure to focus on outcomes, not just responsibilities. For instance, say something like built 5 plus dashboards in Tableau to track customer behavior, leading to a 20% increase in retention. This shows employers not only what you've done, but the value you've added. Next up, let's talk about education and certifications. 
Your education is a key part of your LinkedIn profile, especially if you're early in your career. Make sure to list all the relevant degrees and certifications as it not only shows your qualifications but also demonstrates your commitment to learning. Showcase relevant certifications like Google Data Analytics, SQL certifications or any specific tools or platforms you've mastered. Remember, it's not just about what you've learned, it's about showing your commitment to growing in this field. And certifications are a great way to do that. Now let's talk about the project section. Remember, data analysts are judged by their projects, not just by their titles. Projects are your opportunity to show recruiters what you can really do. So make sure to highlight those personal, academic or freelance projects that show off your data wrangling, visualization and analysis skills. Be sure to provide a brief description of the project. What was the problem? How did you solve it? The tools and techniques you used and the outcomes you achieved. This gives employers a clear picture of what you're capable of. Don't forget to add links to your GitHub repository or website where you have deployed the project. Next, let's optimize your skills section. Make sure the skills you list align with the roles you're seeking. For example, my top skills are Python, SQL and Data Science, all crucial for the roles I'm interested in. You can also reorder your skills to make sure the most relevant ones are highlighted at the top. Encourage colleagues to endorse these skills as it adds credibility to your profile. Skills with high endorsements build trust and can even push your profile higher in search rankings. Coming up next are recommendations. Recommendations are LinkedIn Gold. They provide social proof of your abilities and work ethic to the recruiters. I've been fortunate to receive recommendations that highlight my teamwork, analytical skills and contributions to projects. Don't be afraid to ask your colleagues, managers or even clients for recommendations. A well-written recommendation can be the deciding factor between getting that dream job or getting rejected. Finally, don't shy away from sharing your achievements, awards and milestones on LinkedIn. Whether it's completing a project, earning a certification or just getting recognition at work. These posts not only build your personal brand but also signal credibility to recruiters. Regularly posting and collaborating with others in your field keeps you visible, builds trust and opens door to more opportunities. Remember, what's obvious to you may be impressive to someone else, so please and please share it. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend and subscribe to Data Drool for more career boosting content like this. See you in the next one.